Well, I told the the participants in this Ultimate Loser match that I needed a couple minutes. And they said, okay, no problem, and decided to ready up anyway. So they are on the way. Link7, thanks for, oh, wow. uh, thanks for the race <laughs> and joining us. Uh, we need to hurry on to get All to right. this commentary. All right, thanks for the race stream, guys. No problem. And uh, make sure you guys follow Link7s if you, if you, uh, and Buzz Thunder and everybody else in the tournament. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa, Joshy D. Come on, man, with that language. But uh, <laughs> oh, those guys just starting without you, man. Well, I mean, like neither of no them respect. knows how to work a computer. I, well, I said, like, can I have a couple <laughs> minutes? And they said, sure, no problem. Let us know. And then Coach Crab just does dot ready right after that. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Yeah, right. I, I, I remember a Tetris race that may have had something like that happen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, nothing like two and a half hours of uh, restreaming uh, work to try to make a layout for for someone for a thirty second uh, restream. Yeah, uh, have it all invalidated. But uh, here, I mean, <laughs> if you're on the multi Twitch, why don't you get, go ahead and call this action? I'll finish up the, what the rest I'm doing. Um, still getting it loaded up here. Hold on. I'm assuming they're on the first. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, give me a second. They are on the second half of stage A one right now. Uh... Coach Crab's in the lead a little bit. He's in the boss first, the uh, the gruesome twosome. And uh, Joshy D is not that far behind. I didn't see where he, he must have missed a jump or something to be uh, this far behind this early, but it's still not that far because Coach Crab takes multiple deaths per match. And Joshy D actually has had runs where he's been deathless near the end. So Okay. Looks like the uh, oh geez oh uh, so it looks like coach takes care of the creepy coop and then we see Josh take a death there so coach the lead uh actually my predictions I thought that I thought Josh had this well in hand as far from what I've seen in this race how about you Larry I can't rule out the fact that Coach Crab has a little bit of pride in his he doesn't care routine about this game and, and everything. I don't think yeah. he really wants to go first to worst, even though he's pretending like it really doesn't matter. Uh, I wouldn't put it past him <laughs> to have snuck in a run here and there where real life permitted. Yeah, I don't know. I, I He was in my chat last night, and I was talking about it. I was like, yeah, you know, I mean, it's hard to practice. I understand people are busy, but it's like with this game, like you could set aside 30 minutes per day, you know, like wake up early, uh go to bed 30 minutes late and just try to get a solid run in or something like that and then when i said that to him he immediately left my chat so i assume that he uh stayed up all night practicing well, <laughs> I, as i told joshy d and I've, I've told this story before most of my practicing was done in a uh in a in a good year waiting for my car to get inspected and get their t the tires changed so Yes, yes, I remember that story. That's a that's a great idea, though. I mean, <laughs> you got to hang out a, in a mechanics a lobby. Yeah, might as well uh, bring an emulator with. Well, I'm like, you know, I mean, how, uh, worst case scenario, how long is this going to take? And I'm like, well, I don't feel like sitting there for four hours. But if I have this game and maybe a couple of Zelda two randomizer uh, seeds on hand, uh, you know, maybe, maybe. Yes, if you didn't need new tires, you might have not made it to the winner's bracket. Think about right. that. I might not have, but then again, these are the two people I played in that race, so maybe I would uh, have. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess that's true as well, but we'll, we'll, I wasn't going to mention that. You can see Coach has put in work, because look how he took care of the first two bosses. And for somebody who may have only played this game four other times, or I guess it would have been five other times for him uh, with the, with the, the play-in race, um... You don't really learn to, to fight the boss like that on five odd runs without doing a little bit of research or practicing yourself. Yeah, just the way I'm seeing Coach go through this, uh, I think this is one of the trickier stages. Uh, um, A3, and it looks it looks like he is, knows where the enemies are coming, at least in this first section here. He knows where the enemies he, are coming, he knows where to jump from, he knows where to land. I mean, he... He doesn't want to lose. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. Well, we were also talking about potential games that he would be forced to play last night, so that might have been uh, even more incentive. Because I was basically just going to make him play Echo the Dolphin again. <laughs> 
And uh, Joshi D is probably on, on candidates to, to play uh, either uh, roller games or, or something else. <laughs> roller games would be a good choice. Yeah. I was going to make that. The roller games would have been the choice after the first one. First tournament. I would've, that would have been cruel, actually. But uh, luckily for him, <laughs> Bank Last Tube was even worse at the game than Joshi D was. Joshi D almost died to the second boss in a row. Uh, went with low health right into the second phase and took a couple hits and then uh, barely got out of there. And what would you say? Uh, Coach has about a uh, probably 15 second lead right now. Uh, yeah, give or take. About half a stage. Uh, yeah, it's hard to say. I asked Joshi this question, but other than the, the stage that is split up into like, you know, four sections, five sections for some unknown reason, unknown reason the stages that are split up into two sections, are they the same length, do you think? Uh, that would make sense just from watching people race because it really seems to be a simple way to gauge it, but, you know, there aren't other games where you can do it that way. That that might be part of how the memory works. I wouldn't be surprised. And I thought Joshi was a little bit further ahead than he was, so he's well more than 15 seconds behind and missed the jump. So he had to backtrack a little bit to get on a higher platform. So he lost a little bit more time there. And Buzz, uh, Coach is just cruising along here with his third enemy defeated without issue. Yeah, Coach looking really, really smooth here. I had to double check there. Choke and Chokebot have the same color name. And I thought Choke was spamming chat for some reason. <laughs> uh, did he do that on purpose? I thought he copied and pasted what did what the, and I was like, oh, did somebody ask for it? And I, and I was like, wait a second. It's um, exactly what the bot says. And it was uh it was the bot. Oh, that's a nice uh nice mod uh, icon there. I haven't seen that yet. Oh, yeah, it took me like thirty attempts to get it approved. <laughs> Those guys are better Twitch TV. Joshy D is now done with the uh, the buzz wagon. And he's the gonna buzz move wagon. He's going to move on to zone B. Yeah, so coach with almost a uh, uh, three quarters of a stage lead, I would say. And hard to say. I don't know. He had the full stage that Josh D is on now and then partial of this stage. But yeah, that's where I got yeah. uh, three quarters. Oh, three quarters of a stage being the whole zone. Of, of an entire level, yeah, I guess. Okay. I, I guess I, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, yeah coach, look at, uh, coach knows what to do. Uh, yeah, a little late on that bomb. Easy to do on this boss is to when he's kind of going up and down, you throw it down because he's especially in the second phase because he's so quick. But yeah, Coach definitely definitely put some practice in from the way that he's throwing the bombs here. See, I don't know. Well, he, he's gonna miss a few. I mean, he's not you know he's not Buzz Thunder. He's well, I mean, I I did. He might actually get better than me. Yeah, he did about the same that I did. I think you were two twenty six but... out of there, and uh, and Link was two twenty two, two twenty three. I don't know if chat was lit enough for me to go back and look at that. Actually, I can just hit up on the chat and find out. So he finished at two twenty three. Uh, you finished at 223, and, and Link Sevens finished that fight at 219. So okay. You were four seconds faster than him, but uh, coach match on time. Yeah, exactly. That's that's why, because I did it wrong. But that's a huge time save, because that's, that's a really tricky boss. You really just have to remember where he goes and where he starts and where he stops, as we see Josh going into him right now. Anything better than 223, and you know he saved a little bit of time, but he's going to need to save a lot of time. So one thing I, I've seen is, especially in roller games, is people tend to get a lot more practice in the early stages because once they start dying and messing up, they start to reset their runs. I wonder how much practice Coach put in uh, in the second half of this game compared to the, the first half that he's definitely showing improvement on. Yeah, that's interesting of uh, the way to go by it because I, I felt like I was getting better at the second half of this game instead of the first just because I uh, 
I feel like my strategy going going into these type of races is that I'm just I know that we're gonna have to do a run and race against each other and again I, I've said this the last time we're not going for the world record so I'm gonna try to complete a run. Point. You gotta learn to roll with the punches like because if you die in a race you know you just gotta deal with it. 14 second time loss there on the boss for Joshi D. Nice damage boost on this boss, by the way. For you. Oh yeah, I because I missed I missed the the uh, the last cycle there, and then I just kind of put up a prayer, and yeah, that that was great. Yeah, thanks for remembering that. I forgot that I did that. Did you? That uh, was actually pretty clutch. Did you ever? Did you practice that? Because I tried to, and I missed every single time. Um, I the last couple times I've gone through it, I tried once or twice, and it's you have to have the timing down almost perfect. Uh. On my l dinner break, I did a, I did on the creepy coop, uh, the the first boss. Yes. I actually got it on that one and killed him significantly faster. But uh, once once this race started, I practiced it and I was like, no, I'm not even going to try that because if you miss it, it throws off your rhythm. And I was just like, no, just go with what I know. But yeah, it's really tricky to get that. So I need to bring this up. And, and, and certainly we have a small tournament, invitational only. We trust and we like all these guys through all the, you know, the, the, the jabs we give them. Is Coach playing a video? <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Do you think he just recorded? Uh, it's it's possible. And to match this up against uh, all the other runs in the, in the tournament and see exactly... Uh, if any of them come close, because he is, I mean, you know, you want to talk about it's, night yeah, and day. Yeah, I was I was going to say the exact same word right there, night and day, because what was his last run? He was like, he was like 29, something like that. His he, finishing time? He, yeah, he might have been 30 in the last, well, uh, the one against, uh, who did he play in the, Choke, he played Choke. I don't know what his uh, time was against Choke, but. It's been, I think it was like 26, 26, um, 26, and then 30 in the play-in race, maybe? I know he put up identical times in his first few races. Yeah, I mean, I might have been thinking of one that's, you know, farther in the past than this, but I, I remember him putting up a 30 or something like that. That was the three-way. Yeah, that's probably what it was, what I'm thinking of. He had like a 29 or a 30 in the three-way. And he really only beat Joshi D because Joshi D threw that race at the end. Uh, not as bad as Choke Me. I like it through it, though. But... Remember that race with uh, Dig Shake and oh, Choke yeah. Me? I like it. I don't because my oh, internet yeah. went down. No, I, 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 definitely, I definitely remember how crazy that was because I was still commentating. I was like, well, I know that, <laughs> that it's a down, but I was still commentating, and I was just, like, going nuts <laughs> by myself knowing that nobody was listening. Well, as soon as the uh, as soon as Dig Shake joined you on the commentary, I heard uh, you, uh, you can hear you, but you couldn't hear him. And as soon as he turned it on, all you heard was "Wow." <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, I added, that was definitely a wow. So I edited that. I, I put that in. in the, this is the only thing you hear in the uh, in the, the restream of it that's archived. Is you see the run side by side, and then you yelling "Wow" at the end of it. <laughs> I need to watch the uh, the archive version of it. Yeah, I think it's perfect the way it is. No commentary and just the "Wow." <laughs> Choke bringing up the fact that people like to say they're not practicing, and then they practice off stream. I was very that transparent was all... about my practicing. I didn't do it on stream, but I definitely said when I was practicing. I just wasn't practicing early. Cause... I, I did it. My practicing was mostly off stream for this. And what what reason was that though? Was that to kind of like not give people an advantage, or was that just because of convenience, uh, or like internet yeah, not it was, being good? It was. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess internet might be part of it. Um... But at the same time, it was just kind of like, oh, I've got a half hour before I need to go into work. Mm. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bang out a run and then go into work. And usually, I come home on my lunch breaks and I can get a run in there. So you had a good, good boss fight here on this uh, Red Baron ripoff. 
I wonder what Joshi D, because Joshi D took notice in the fact that you didn't stand on the platform. So I wonder if he's going to try to do that. Yeah, there's really no need because that just kind of can, it just constricts you what you can do and then you have to jump over him. But if you're right there on the bottom, it's actually the perfect height. When he's at the high highest level, if you jump from the bottom when you throw the bomb, it's like right on top of him, but you don't have to worry about taking damage. So that that's really helpful. It's one of the last times we're going to see the dancing bear. You know the ladies love him. Buzz, right? Oh, yeah. Don't dancing Google. bear, he's great. Don't Google that. Uh, okay. So what does Joshi D have to do here um, to make up some uh, time? Besides not jump on yeah, that top of that Besides float over, over that snail. What does he need? Yeah, he... Uh... Uh, yeah, he needs uh, to get some bones and refill his life. Is what he needs to do. Uh, but yeah, we, we need we need coach to to crumble, take a couple falls. Really, I mean, I don't think even if Josh has like a world record run at this point, there's there's no catching Coach Crab. Yeah, as I said this in your race when uh, Link fell behind, even in your death, even in Coach Crab's death here, it does nothing. Because they're not on the same stage. Yeah. So Joshi needs to get onto the... Well, I mean, it'll help Joshi eventually get on the same stage, but then you need Coach to take multiple deaths for for, for that to kind of happen. Um, yeah, there's a, yeah, there's definitely a point where it kind of gets out of reach. Deaths being a little bit more devastating in uh, Season 1 with roller games because the length of the stage, I guess, and the difficulty of the stage... Uh, yeah, a certainly. Of, a lot of these stages are just, you know, whatever. Hold right, make a couple jumps, and, uh, you know, pay attention in, like, one or two different areas. We have simultaneous boss deaths there, and uh, it just shows you the lead that Coach Crab has uh, expanded. Yeah, yep, exactly one stage. <laughs> yeah, definitely a, a huge difference in difficulty <laughs> from a... I mean, Roller Games is... A very tricky game, very difficult. A lot of, a lot of technical things that you have to do very well. This game is much more flaxadaisical. which is probably why we didn't see as much uh, on-stream like uh, training and stuff like that. Might have something to do with it. So, talk to us about this. Uh, you have. Um... For those who don't know, we've said it before, like probably a million times, but uh, the way we pick our game is we do it through a vote, and the, the games that are on that vote, that they're on the ballot, are nominated by the, the winner of the tournament, the runner-up of the tournament, and then somebody who's been, and there's a death for Joshy D right there. Ouch. So it's even uh, going to be even more bad news for him, and uh, going to put Coach Crab pretty much in the driver's seat. Not that he wasn't already, but... To get the game on that ballot, you got to win the tournament, come in second place in the tournament. So that's Buzz and Link Sevens, and then the third one's just given out at random to anybody who didn't make the the top bracket, the winners bracket, and that was Josh yeah. D. So you pulled out of a, uh, a dirty hat. Yeah, exactly. Uh, speaking <laughs> of dirty hat, where is that guy tonight? But anyway, so you had a um, you had a pick, and you're picking Panic Restaurant. Uh, that is correct. Okay, you want to take us, tell us why that is your selection? Um, it was, it was one of the earlier games where I just saw it, I saw somebody playing it, and then I, I tried it myself, and, you know, my first time playing it blind beat it in about a half hour, and, uh, well, I guess not, I use the term blind incorrectly, <laughs> um, well, you don't have to explain that to me. Uh, Coach uh, Choke Me I Like It is the guy who uh, <laughs> who has the definition patent on that. Uh, on well, that I mean, if, if I watch somebody play it, you know, it's not blind. But, you know, my first time playing it, you know, it was relatively easy. But there's still some tricky parts to it. And I kind of did a couple of speed runs with it. Uh, no, nothing serious or whatever. But it just seems to fit the format that 
I don't know if it's a format that we were looking for or that we just ended up having, but it's a nice short game that everybody can learn very quickly and you'll be able to beat it in 20 minutes or less. Plus, it fits the new pattern of our tournament, which games have to cost at least $300. Oh, yeah, I, I did mention that as yeah. well. Yeah, <laughs> we, like, we need like a ridiculously expensive one. I almost chose one of the Flintstone games, uh, but then when I watched one of the runs, there was a bunch of these like glitches where you climb the wall. And I was like, nah, I don't want to. I don't like that kind of stuff. I like when you actually play the game. So Link Sevens has chose Super Dodgeball in like a little bit of a, uh, I just interesting, interesting, How do you interesting Su pick. Super Dodgeball, and it it is a it is a game that gets speedrun, and I've seen it uh, be speedrun before, and I think it was even in a GDQ if I if I'm not mistaken. But it's just like you're not thinking of a game like that when you're thinking of, you know, trying to pick a game for this tournament. So I'd be interested in Josh D just taking another death right there. Splashdown. As a coach, you know, as a, during our banter, coach is just accelerated Steam his rolling. lead. Yeah, and he's on the, the final boss right now at the 20-minute mark for a guy who hasn't beaten the game in less than 26 minutes. Is that true? Yeah. He's going to get a sub-21? He's going to, well, it's now up to 20, 2108. But he went in there. So. Damn, that's pretty good. That's a huge improvement. So Joshi is going to give us a, give us a, uh, a thing. Let's watch Coach Crab stream here real quick. Look how it ends really quick right there. Okay. I think he clicked off of uh, the emulator. So I think that's a tell that he actually was really playing because his emulator was not the focus window and it paused. I was waiting yeah, I for like it. a YouTube logo to show up or something. Yeah, I see his mouse cursor moving around too. Ask All ask right. him to, to wiggle race. the mouse Good left race. and Let's right. Discord, guys. <laughs> up down <laughs> just to make sure. This is really you. Go back to stage three and, and do it front it again for me, please. Joshi has now died on the buzz wagon. I'm sorry, the uh the Arkansas Chugabug. So Joshi lost a full stage. I don't think Coach Coach definitely did not take a death. No, that was a that was a solid run. Wonder how that stands up. Do you have SRL open to see how that stands up? If I try to open a web browser, I fear that I lose all the stream. Hello, the captured Windows. Hello, Coach. Congratulations, man. Hey, thank you very much. All right. So obvious question: How much did you practice between last time and now? I practiced for a long time, uh, two days ago, a little bit yesterday, and quite a bit today. So, so yes, I had been practicing. Okay, well, I mean, it was obvious, so there was no hiding mm -hmm. that. But you were not right. necessarily hiding the fact, but no one really even asked, right? Because you weren't in the round? Uh, if someone asked me, I would have told them, yes, I have been practicing. Okay. So we, we were wondering. We were actually waiting there at the end of the, the run to see if a YouTube logo showed up to see if it, was, <laughs> if it would suggest us the next video or go right into the next video of the playlist. Um, but when you when you went to... You got me. You got me. <laughs> when you went to type into IRC uh, the dot done, you, we, we saw in, in the emulator freeze and pause, and, and that was a telltale sign. By the way, I'm not too sure if you know this, but when somebody asks yes. uh, he needs a couple minutes to set up the restream, you're not supposed to dot ready. Oh, well, you know, actually, I, would, I was not the person who dot ready first. Well, it doesn't when you dot ready, the race starts. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I, I thought that since Joshy D did dot ready, I thought that meant that you were ready. I was no. tension. No, we uh, so, we, we yeah, had to join this that. race a little bit late because of mm -hmm. that. I, we were not ready, but uh, but nevertheless, you're not the ultimate loser. Uh, yes, did you, that was the goal. Okay, so what was the real motivation? Sorry, Buzz, if you were going to ask a question. Go ahead and ask a question now. I'm going to do something. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Keep going, Larry. Uh, what was your real motivation behind uh, all that practice? Was it that you did not want to lose? Did you not want to go first to worst? Or did you want to put up a good time? Or what was the real reason for all the practice? Um, well, part of it was I, wanted, I was uh, thinking about how, you know, I, uh, you know, dominated the last tournament and uh, I was thinking I really I wanted to put up a time that was just as good as whatever the uh, the uh, the other guys did uh, di during the uh, the championship run. That's really what I was thinking. 
Um, and I almost did. I mean, 21, what was it? 21, 23. Was that what the time was? 21, 23. Yes. And uh, link did what? 2109 and buzz had an amazing, what was it? 2012. That was just an unbelievable run. I'm that, looking them uh, all up buzz right now. Did. Link mm-hmm. had a 2047 against me. Uh, mm-hmm. Buzz has a 2039. Bank glass tube has a 2204. So your 21, 23 is actually third place out of all the times that we've done so far in the tournament. Yeah, um, off stream today earlier, I did a twenty fifty four. That was my best. Nice. Uh, and I was watching, I was watching Josh D at the same time. So, and when I saw that he was behind, I was taking kind of conservative on the last couple of levels, making sure, especially at the uh, the guys in the paddy wagon. What are those guys called? The nine inch nails or whatever. Ant Hill Mob, yeah. The Ant Hill Mob, yeah. <laughs> whatever those guys are, I was taking it pretty conservative on those guys and the uh, the very last boss as well took it pretty conservative on him because sometimes I have the tendency to, I know he's not really not that difficult of a boss but sometimes I uh, I die right there but uh, my main motivation was uh, not having to play Echo the Dolphin that was yeah that that's was, what I, I was gonna ask that question <laughs> too because I noticed when I mentioned that in the in my chat last night you immediately disappeared and I was like oh he's going to practice right now <laughs> no I actually didn't practice uh, last night after that but I did practice quite a bit today I did about three or four runs today of practice looks like josh did you just finished up yes with a time of 25 49 uh so coach now that i have you on here it's a little bit easier to ask you directly than it is uh through messages and stuff like that just to get the point sure. across um uh, mm-hmm. we are delaying the, the the next round of the tournament and i know july is out for you yeah but it is we're gonna make the fir- we're gonna make the tournament extend into August and through the end of August. That means the opening rounds are gonna have a couple more weeks and spill mm-hmm. over to the end of the month. Uh, are you going to? Um, are you still gonna not be able to play through that whole duration, or is the extended uh, time frame gonna enable you to uh, to to race with us next time? I still don't think I'll be able to do it just because those last two weeks of July are so busy for me. All right. So and I really will have no, okay. I mean, the reason I didn't, I, I did so bad at this time is because I didn't have that initial week of practice. I just did not practice it, you know? So I really need that, that first little bit of practice in order to, to hang in the tournament early on. If we then, and I'm, we're not making like, don't, don't feel guilt or anything, but we're not making these rules for you, but we have the Zelda two randomizer tournament coming up on the 10th. Uh, people are going to be way at GDQ, uh, yeah, you know stuff like that. So there's going to be a, oh wait, that's where the other guy is. The guy is en route to uh, to a location, right, Buzz? Hello, uh, hey yeah, Josh, he's, he is on his way. Hey Joshy, how you doing? Oh, I can't hear. You can't hear us. All right. Well, um, let me just let oh, me just say if we try again, I guess. Yeah, if we make the tournament the next season, uh, just start avoiding July altogether and just make it start in August. Would you be good for that? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, so I'll talk to Dave because we want to make sure that we get enough people in to open the expansion bracket and not rush with the other tournaments on the horizon. Joshy, can you hear us now? Hello, Joshy. Good game, man. Hmm. He's just stunned by my amazing playing, I guess. (laughs) Just just sitting there slack-jawed. (laughs) <laughs> so we're really delaying the tournament just so that Coach Crab can continue to play? That's what I heard. That's, I mean, that's exactly what he just said, isn't it, Larry? Basically, I mean, wow. that's exactly what you yeah. just said. Well, I mean, you guys are wow. going to be away. So when the, the tournament should have really – we should have been actually in our last day of practice coming up for for whatever game is going to be now. Dick there we Shake, go. Dick Shake doesn't Josh even have the poll up. You know, we don't even have the third game for the, for the ballot. So there's a lot going uh, on right, right now. Yeah, so, no, I agree. I agree. Uh, so, so we'll take because the Zelda two tournament and and all the other stuff. We'll probably just uh, you know push it to August and then you know be hopefully strict with the schedule thereafter. But Joshy D, how you doing? Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, I, I have I have only outboard uh, equipment. I know that like a lot of people use their computer to have mixers and stuff, but like you know I've got this like twelve channel mixer and big tube compressor, all this like radio gear that I cobbled together to 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 make my stream set up, and it takes a while to get the uh, to rewire it all for for discord. Good race, Joshi. Oh, you're being kind. But yes uh, <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good for you. 
<laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, I, 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 I had some. I had a rough start too. It seems like, like you know, I know that. Did you die on the? Uh, on his and... did, did you die on the first boss? I think so. Uh, I know, like I took the wrong the the wrong power yes, up, did. and mm-hmm. yeah, I had a bunch of weird like st- like things that never happened before. Like 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 deaths in, in crazy weird places, just like just jumping into pits, uh, and, and and a shaky start, uh, and and it was weird because like I was doing some parts like damn like like I'm I'm really doing this well, and then other parts were just like why am I getting hit and falling into pits everywhere. So it was uh, it was interesting, you know. I I, I would have liked to have gone out uh, of of wacky races with with a better performance. I didn't need a win. But but I, I do wish uh, uh, I'd I'd had a little bit of a better performance because because I know I know I can do better than, than that. Let's uh, let's get the good news out of the way. Uh, you did win oh, the good news. <laughs> yeah, well, you did win the hat raffle. Yeah, how about that? So you do get the nominated. Nice of the person who who did the hat raffle to notify the winner. Uh, so you had a <laughs> little bit of time to prepare and and all that, knowing that we would press for time and 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 the like, but. Uh, you do he posted ha- a mere one and a half minute video that none of us bothered to watch. I mean, all I saw was kiss ass. Uh, I watched it. Choke me, I kiss my a- everyone's ass. Uh, choke me, I like it. <laughs> um, basically say, yeah, congratulations, thanks, Dig, or whatever. And I'm like, oh, yeah. he must have won. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should double check. And then this morning I watched it. And I'm like, oh, well, does anyone want to notify Joshy D? Yeah, I, I saw Choke saying, "Oh, thanks, Dig." You know, and I, I, I just assumed that meant he got it. Uh, so, do you have a pick for us? Uh, you know, I, I was gonna, I was gonna uh, look around a bit more. To look, uh, what? Let's just do Wampum. I'll put if no one else has put that in there, I'll put Wampum in there. Wampum. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I bought that game recently. The cartridge. Yeah. It's really cool. It's got a down stab, which I think that you know, since a lot of us come from from a, a Zelda two background, should be fun. Uh, it's, a, it's a shortish game. Uh, you know, I I'd been kind of not complaining, but like like wishing that the tournament had games that offered a little bit more in the way of uh, character choice or route choice. Uh, you know, just so we could see people playing the game differently, because like we're all taking the same route and using the same power ups in this one. Everyone was basically doing the same thing in roller games except maybe switching characters for the cliffs uh but i haven't found a game like <laughs> that has that kind of variety that that looks like it'd be fun for uh, a tournament so wampum a totally racist ass game you know that we can all feel good about oh yeah. it makes it racist well, that it's you know, I I think the 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 title being like a kind of uh uh you know Native American pun. The the box art isn't exactly flattering. It's a very you know uh, caricature of a uh, of, of Native Americans. Yeah, haven't um, they been through enough? <laughs> haven't they think. though? <laughs> but uh, but yeah, well, I, I mean, is uh oh, but Buzz Thunder, you you. you Congratulations on on your win! Uh, oh, earlier. thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. It was a it was a really it was a very strong performance. And although I was not rooting for you, and and I'm um, you know if you look, really, if you, if you, <laughs> I think no. only Artie was. <laughs> okay, good. At least I have um, one fan. I'm but, like but the you... uh, I'm like the Chris Jericho of the SHIT. <laughs> I actually really like Chris Jericho. I used to like Chris Jericho. I know. Um, Back when I actually watched wrestling. Yeah, he's quite a character. But you know, I I gave you all of your 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 praise that you were due. Like you were you were putting on a, a real a real show there. So it was solid. I, I thought I thought you were going to get under twenty for a minute there. Yeah, I kind of I kind of want to play this game a few more times because I know I can I know I can get there. Yeah, that'd be really good. Question is, are you going to do the sub twenty runs on stream? I don't know. Well, he doesn't have to sure. hide his practice now. Right. I wasn't. I, I, I really. And we need to go for sub fifteen roller games too, Buzz. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. That seems impossible. It'd be a challenge. And I like this Wampum game. It seems pretty cool. Yeah, it, it's cool. It's cool. Wampum is one of Doc's favorite games. Whoever that is. Doc Lobster. They know. 
Oh, Maybe okay. you don't, Josh. But I don't. <laughs> one of my childhood friends. He's a med. He's a streams. med student who's a med student, just so we can say he's a med student. He's one of those. Yep. <laughs> one of those oh, guys. he just wants to be able to prescribe girls pills at a party. Choke. Oh. Wow, Joshy, no one does that. <laughs> what? No, the, the Doctor Nick reference. Fuck. Come on. I haven't watched The Simpsons since like 1987. I'm not defaming anyone. <laughs> Uh, Choke Me, I like it in chat. Asks, who is Chris Jericho? I'm going to click ban right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just going to spam him with Spice Girl heads instead. Nice. So, uh, Buzz, do we have a game for Joshy D right now, or is that reveal coming late? Oh, I mean, considering the, sure. the tournament is seven days late as uh, ready, I, I, I feel like we should have this. Uh, Pretty much within the next uh, twelve hours. Which in the next like five seconds? Twelve, I, you know, <laughs> by by tomorrow. You guys are leaving for uh, for the thing tomorrow, right? That's yes, that's true. We are. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, how do you feel about Echo the Dolphin, Josh? Um, I I haven't oh, played it since um a, a a friend when I was growing up uh, that had gotten her her first video game console it was, it was it was the sega genesis and uh they had that game and uh yeah that's the last time i played it like like right when it came out and it was like a deal between her and her dad that like you know uh, uh if she like bought the tv he would buy the console or, or something like that you know like they should like, save up allowance for it and he kind of wanted a genesis because there was joe montana sports talk football and he was a football fan of course i have that one Oh, is it is it good? Is what was it was it worth making a deal with a child to 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 co buy a video sports talk console? football? I I got it for like uh, out of the garbage bin for like a dollar. <laughs> Best part about that game is hitting pause eight hundred times in a row, and having the announcer say time out well into the fourth quarter. Because <laughs> every time I, 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 is that a sport? I don't I don't even know if that's is that not common in football. Well, what? no, when you hit pause, I don't know if it was uh -huh. Joe Montana's talking football. I think it was Joe Montana's talking football. When you hit pause, the announcer would go, time out. Like the, the not the, you know, just the, the, the game would go, time out. Oh, so it wasn't a rules time out. No, was... so then you unpause, okay. pause again, and the length of it saying time out was just like you kept pushing the, the, the timeline. So you uh -huh. pause 800 times in a row, it's going to say time out 800 times. Nice. But oh it's, my god! It just keeps going because you can play I the whole rest of the game that. with it saying time out. Back. I That's really crazy. want to try that now. It might have been sports, uh, sports talk baseball though. Uh, there was a really football. terrible. There was a really terrible uh, football game, uh, Troy Aikman football for Sega. I think it was. Man, that game was awful. There were a lot of bad football games. That's true. Ten years. Yeah, there's, there's not many good football games NFL. in general. Other than uh, Did anybody Mutant ever League play football. It? Which one? Mutant League Football. Oh, yeah, that game's garbage. <laughs> I remember being all the talk on the play on the playground, though. No, I, I loved it when I was younger, and I had a card uh, that I lent it to somebody and lost it. But then I went back and played it recently, and it's just – it's un well, it's not unplayable, but it's just not a good game. Um, anyways, I was either going to go with Echo the Dolphin or – I'm just going to do a Zelda 2 randomizer seed where it's basically uh, you get one max heart container and put all your stats down to zero. So basically you would just keep dying in swamp encounters repeatedly. <laughs> that was the other idea I had. Now, would that be entertaining to people watching it? Or would it just be like Joshi D just be, reach a point like, oh, I got to go in here again? And like, you know. Well, I mean, I mean, he would, he would. You know, eventually get good at it, right? It would like no. make, make you, him get you've better. You've seen me game. play that goddamn game. <laughs> Do you not follow Joshi underscore D on Twitch? <laughs> By the way, kwtf.net. Oh, thank you very much. He shows up to say hi to my brother all the time. I certainly do. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Kyle. Uh, Kyle's really great. <laughs> maybe, maybe like this is just as a viewer suggestion and not like a Joshi D sympathizer. Maybe make it hard, but not impossibly hard, so that he can eventually finish it. But at least there's an hour of trying to progress and making progression instead of just flat out not doing anything. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Dying in a swamp encounter repeatedly might be funny. If, 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 if Dig Shake's emote is uh, live by then, it would be hysterical. Uh, <laughs> everyone's yeah. spamming the uh, Dig Shake swamp. 
So then we would have to find the exact seed where there's like 30 tiles of swamp in every direction from the start. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know I how mean, to do that. I, I guess I could hit... have Digshake figure that out for me and no, then like just... be like, oh, this is the seed. Hit generate ROM. And that's you just have to keep generating until you find it. No, you don't have to keep generating it. Every scene. Oh yeah, has you're it. right. It would be like the first one. Yeah. <laughs> or or you could put some thought into it and get a real game going. Come on. Yeah, because Bad Street Brawler was a pretty good humiliation. No, I kind of just from your still of like I still want to. I, I I think I was gonna go with Echo the Dolphin either way. So uh, I I'll make that officially my pick. Yeah, make it okay. make the pick tomorrow. Uh, throw it in the Discord so we we can get it all set up. Joshy, when this happens, we do want people there to watch it. Unlike uh, you know, when Bank Glass Tube did his, it was only like two people there. Um, yeah. So if we if if we could. Uh, once you get the game and, and stuff like that, if you can submit like maybe three possible days within the you know for the week after that you can play it, and then we can throw it on the straw poll and see when you know most people available to watch is, so we can have a good time with you. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, I I probably have the the cart. I'll 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 check for it. Uh, if it's just straight up Echo the Dolphin and uh. And yeah, I, I mean, we're probably going to want to wait for everyone to get back into town, right? Yeah, that's why I yeah, that's why I was suggesting next week. Okay. And uh, and there's still the Zelda tournament starts in four days. So Zelda, oh, does it really? Zelda two randomizer tournament starts in four days, so that's why you know maybe it'll be. Who knows? I mean, maybe just saying a date is not going to really be that much different than giving a straw poll, and you know, three people show up, then three people right. win the win the vote, you know. Who knows? But it will live on forever in the VOD, and at least somebody will be there to harass you as you play. You know, I just I don't want to. This makes me sound terrible, but I think I just have more star power than BGT, so so naturally more people would want to tune into my stream. So I don't know if there's really going to be a problem. Well, I mean, if Tomorrow, Kyle's there. Really. <laughs> <laughs> It's so the BGT is the nicest guy in the world. I mean, it's it's. I think it's why it's so much fun to uh, say things like that about Dig Shake and him because you can, you couldn't find nicer guys. So I have this thing I do when I enter a race. Is the first thing I do before I hit dot enter or dot join is I mm -hmm. type out the word. Uh, I type out blank glass tube and I send it because I don't know if you guys have uh, notifications enabled on your IRC, but it'll it will actually make a sound when your name is mentioned. And, oh, okay. he, and he has his computer set up, or he has his IRC to set up to uh, to join every single Zelda 2, Final Fantasy, Dragon Warrior, and Zelda 1 race there is, and Link to the Past race there are. So he's in every race channel, whether he's joined to the, joining the race or not. So oh, I, wow. I, I, I throw out his name, he gets, a, he gets a, you know, a ping, his computer makes a sound or whatever. And then I joined the race. Someone the other day in Dragon Warrior Randomizer asked me, like, why do you keep saying Bank Glass Tube? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's the uh, it, it's a good luck bot. You type its name, it wishes you well, and uh, and you're on your way. He's like, oh, I wondered why he'd be he was in every race channel. <laughs> so there's a guy now also uh, typing Bank Glass Tube every single time he joins a race. So I'm trying to make this a thing. Wow, well, yeah, that, that, that's like hey, a, I like... can definitely start doing that. <laughs> It's internet folklore on on the on the scale of Slenderman. You know, it's it. Everyone thinks that Bent Glass Tube is is the the good fortune of of randomizer races. Is Slenderman a Pokemon? No, it's a it's 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 a spooky internet meme. Oh, the that... uh, Minecraft guy that comes after you if you take too long chopping down a tree. That's, I don't that's know it, if that's Larry. true. Yes, either. that's exactly right. Just... Yes, just go with that. Coach Cray, when you daughter joining the tournament, and she'd probably do better than you. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, if we were playing Minecraft, she probably would. Or if we were playing a uh, um, uh, Terraria. Buzz, have you ever played uh, Bed Wars? Bed Wars? Yeah. No, On Minecraft. I have not. It's a Minecraft. It's a Minecraft yeah, game. it's a Minecraft mini game where uh, you, you get into teams, and then you got to go break somebody's bed. And I don't know exactly what you do, but. His daughter is the best like, at that game. Uh, it's kind of like Capture the Flag, except uh, with beds. All right. I, I've got to go let somebody in. I'll uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, can right, you stream that? Congratulations, Buzz. You, it's, you want me to stream that? <laughs> Bring See, a camera. Congratulations, Buzz. We'll talk to you later. Thanks. Have a good night, guys. Good night. So uh, what what are you guys thinking about uh, this, uh, this next game? Uh, which one do you think you're going to vote for? 
I'm probably going to go Panic Restaurant because it's the game I've played before, but I'm going to try the Wampum. Uh, I would love to do Super Dodgeball, actually. Uh, that's the one that I really don't think I want to do. I, I mean, I'm kind of like Super Dodgeball is the game I've already played, and I've seen it speedrun, and I've... I, I think it would not get my vote because I've seen it speedrun before. And why, I might mm-hmm. have seen it like several times over. Because uh, it's just like one of those games when you were younger. It was just so cool. Like those River City Ransom guys. Like, Oh, it's fun. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. I just don't know if I'd want to speedrun it. Uh, so you know, I, think, I think it'd be a frustrating game to speedrun. I mean, I've, I've watched in this year alone, I've seen a speedrun. I think I've seen a... Like, I think there is a a super glitch in it as well uh going from the japanese um speed run marathon i don't know what it's called i think entering and exiting the menu you can go like right to the end credits uh, joshy d you knew that you told me about oh. that that was a so, that was a different game though that, oh, that, was, that was like okay. ultraman okay. dodgeball it would be a 5 second speed run <laughs> okay yeah no, plus no, that the, the, the code takes like 10 minutes to put in it's crazy mm. mm-hmm yeah, you were the one that yeah. told me about that. That's right. Dude, it was so sick. <laughs> like, I watched this, and then somehow I just sat there and watched, and I watched it as well. <laughs> so, no, it's, it's depending, like, on, depending on when this tournament starts, if it starts in August, then I'll be able to participate I mean, most likely. And uh, with, with I'll, how, I'll, I'll probably go with Panic Restaurant. With how slow everything's going and there being seeming there's no immediate focus on like trying to steer the ship into a more civilized schedule for the month of july uh, i'm pretty much going to make the executive decision and say like we're going to start up again august 1st and we're going to let this month simmer, to me. simmer down which because we can't like it's not just because we're going to lose you but then it's like another person we have to replace within the next couple days to start a tournament and you know and push forward i think we're missing a couple people to open up that second bracket as well so i got to i got to send some uh, feelers out there to see if anybody wants to wants to do it so that's another person we'd have to replace on top of getting all that and then you know with buzz and dig going to be at gdq and people wanting to watch it and and the zelda 2 starting up all the people restreaming it that are involved in this or even racing it it's going to be it's going to be too much so. But don't forget sure. my birthday. Like that's gonna be. When's your birthday, you know? Josh D? By the way, did you win the uh, the the three legged man sand toss hopscotch uh, ring toss thing, or no? Uh, uh yeah, my, my my team. Uh, we won Candyland and we went into the uh the castle and we're actually uh King Candy was in there and he sang a song and danced and it was incredible. What the hell are you talking about? Uh, oh, it's a July Fourth uh, thing he does. There's a there's a trophy and everything. You should pay attention once in a while. Well, if you, I'll, I'll post some pictures <laughs> in the Discord so, so you know like why I was so distracted this month. Uh, we had a, a a large party, uh, Candyland themed. But I'm actually shocked. Panic Restaurant is a platformer, apparently. Yeah, it's I've a fun played. game. It's basically the same as uh, as Wacky Races in terms. It of... It looks. A lot like Wacky Races. Yeah, and it's also another game that came out at the la- the tail end of the Nintendo life cycle. So it mm-hmm. costs about $300, $500. Oh, yeah, it sucks. Yeah, by the way, a... in some sort of minor miracle, uh, one of the Wacky Races that happened tonight, one of the races that happened tonight, has already been recorded. While a Zelda 2 race from like five days ago still lingers in the uh, in the archives that hasn't been uh, recorded yet. The the first of the two wacky races has not been recorded, but the second one has. So huh. it's pretty funny how, how this stuff works. But uh, so yeah, uh, I'm probably leaning towards Panic Restaurant only because I've never played Wampum. I played a little bit of Panic Restaurant, uh, and I feel like that's good for a tournament format. But I really I am interested in in, in Super Dodgeball, so I wouldn't be upset if it wins. But I've seen it be played before. So dude, I don't know. So so the reason why I won't vote for. Uh... Um, dodgeball is that I feel like these other games are platformers and like even if you don't learn high end tech you still know to like you know go to the right and jump whereas I'm really worried that super dodgeball is going to be like learning just a different kind of game a different genre of game like uh, and and it would be more about like I'd have to actually figure out tech and and you can't just kind of like fight your way through levels and and you know figure out a boss like it it, it just be- seems 
it would be like, a frustrating game to speed run because the computer often throws it to the uh, they often pass the ball around a lot and that would be just a lot of a lot of AI as far as uh, when uh, when there's going to be delays and things like that. I'm also well, strongly looking for a game that's not a platformer since I despise platformers. But I just don't know what that game would be, and and it, it would probably have to be a game that had a had a uh, like a manipulated a simulated ending that wasn't beat the game. It'd probably be like get to this point first, huh. like a it would be, Final it'd Fantasy. It'd be interesting to it'd be interesting to do something like a, a Tetris or Doctor Mario, where we'd have to do net play. Uh, it's, it's too unreliable. That's play. true. I mean, it is. It is. But uh, I mean, even something like a, a Turk Masters or something would be fun. Uh, it's just it's, you know, in trying to do the reason Buzz and I do not do it and Dig Shake and Buzz do not do it or, you know, Dig Shake and I don't like any of us don't do it is because there's been way too many times it didn't work for every time it did work. So, yeah, you know, so we've tried to make these things work before you've tried to do it. Uh, it it's just it's sometimes it's it's impossible. But you know, but doing something that's like, you know, we could have a speed run as to who can set it up first. <laughs> you know, who'd be the ultimate loser if we did that. Yeah, absolutely. I actually, um, <laughs> but with Tetris and Dr. Mario, those are known games that have multiple categories and, and, and people run them all the time. And we wanted to keep these things to kind of like, you know, new experience for a majority of the people in, in the tournament and stuff like that. Right. But uh, but yeah, so uh, yeah, con- uh, congratulations, Coach, for not being the ultimate loser. And I guess congratulations because it is a title to you, Joshy. We can uh, <laughs> we can make a plaque up and everything, put you on the wall of fame. Uh, well, thanks very much. You know, it, it really means a lot. Um, and and to be in such distinguished company as a uh, bank glass tube, it you know it's it doesn't feel so bad. Yeah, the good luck charm. Now, <laughs> good luck bot. I don't know, like way back in the day, how the Super Bowl was born from pitting the uh, the NFC and the AFC uh, winners, AFL winners together, NFL and AFL winners together, um, and then thus, you know, the merger and all that. Should we be doing something where, you know, Buzz and Coach should be playing like this ultimate win? Like, should we have <laughs> for, for like maybe every four, every quarter, every three months, uh-huh. or every like three times a year, every four months? Should we get all the all the 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 championship winners together, and like the champion uh, the ultimate losers together, and do like a like a melody uh, a medley of games, like a relay of games? Ooh, a and, relay that'd be fun. And then just, try to do that. And then crown like you know quarterly, semi annually champions. Uh, like just create more titles and more ridiculousness. <laughs> you know, just so I can. There expand should the be rules. more titles. For sure, yeah. I, I'm the, looking. I'm, I'm basically, all for that. I'm looking to write 20 more pages of rules that don't make sense, <laughs> and nobody's going to ever read, uh, just to for the sake of uh, clarity, in case they're there, in case they ever need to come up. But uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Have, have you written rules for this tournament? There are rules for this tournament. There's extensive rules. <laughs> I'm kidding. Rules. I'm kidding. <laughs> there are. They're actually pretty simple. But uh, but it, but I have I have something for restreaming and stuff that I never posted, but I should because. When I go through this, and and myself included, like there are so many mistakes, and I'm just like, oh, when I when I listen back to it, but uh, but yeah, well, I mean, it was a good race, and uh, and it was a fun night, Joshy. Thanks for for hanging out on the the first part for the commentary, and Coach, uh, good job practicing to uh to mm-hmm. win that and save a little face so you don't go worse, uh, first to worse. And uh, we're looking forward to the humiliation stream, and we'll I'll uh inform everybody about that on on the Discord. And such when we yeah. get a date and um and inform everybody about the start of the next tournament, which is gonna be in August and uh and all that. So have a good night, guys. Thanks for uh thanks for racing, thanks for joining me. Thanks for the thanks restream, Larry. Bye. All right, that concludes the season two chapter of the uh SHI tournament featuring wacky races. We're gonna take a little pause. For GDQ, people to watch it, people to attend uh, the start of the Zelda 2 Randomizer Tournament as well. That's in four days. And then we're going to start back up in August with eight additional people. So we're going to run two brackets of eight. And we're going to have some sort of uh, Premier League football kind of promotion and relegation system. It's going to be the stupidest thing ever. But it's going to be a lot of fun. 
and possible games for August, which are only going to be eligible for the people currently in the tournament to vote on, not not the new people, are going to be Panic Restaurant, Wampum, and uh, Super Dodgeball. So we'll, we'll uh, I'll inform everybody, or just ask me in chat if you see me, if you really want to know who who wins. I'll put it in the Discord, and uh, and we'll go from there. So thanks for hanging out. I'll get these uh, races on the YouTube, and maybe put them on the uh, vodcast or something if anybody wants to watch them. Oh, back to back to back, Tom Umansky style. And uh, thanks for hanging out. And I'll talk to you guys later.